Good morning. Before we start this video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to present a call out to our sponsor, Pablo from Air Gun One. We're going to go in today and we're going to look around because we ha actually have one of our people here that are going to be looking for a gun today. So we're going to bring him into a, a well known guy, Pablo from Air Gun One in West Palm Beach. He will help you with all your air gun needs, all your pellets, anything you want. Stay tuned for this video. We hope you enjoy it. See ya. Gets him. Got him. Pull it. Oh my goodness. Pull it. Good girl. Good girl. Hatch 30 cal, yo. Oh yeah. That kind of put them down a little bit. Ooh, see. See oh, the pressure point right here. That is what you see. Big, 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 silly ones. Oh, yeah. They're in the bag. In the bag. Just keep taking them on those trips, Johan. Just bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Iguana people. Welcome back y'all to another day with the Iguana people. Today they brought back a guest that is no joke when it comes to hunting those silly, silly iguanas. Her name is Mindy. Johan brings her out and teaches her the ropes of iguana kitchen and to be honest y'all, she didn't do too bad. Later, they move to an educational facility where Johan is catching, dragging, and taking them on a trip. Don't know what I'm saying? Just have to watch y'all and see Johan bring him out. All right, so we're, we're into Pablo's shop here today, and I guess um, we brought our guest with us today. What do you got in mind? You want to say what you got in mind? I'm um, looking for a PCP air gun, and I'm really not sure which one I want, but you had some suggestions. So, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk to Pablo about it because he's got a couple. Now he's been he's gave us a couple that we're really nice we we like. But um, there are other ones here, so we, you know we're gonna ask him what would be your best best solution. This is her first good gun. She kind of likes what we got, but you know that that big one, that that big third, it'd be too heavy for her. I think it, it's very heavy. You know, yeah. so I was telling her to get something more that's compact. Got it. I kind of like that one that we have, but she, she probably needs something with a little punch. Like a 30 caliber. So, uh, what's the purpose? For a 30 caliber. Yeah. Iguana and maybe bore. Well, when we're talking about Iguana 22 or 25, it's fine. Yeah. But getting into bore is yeah, they, 30 that's why enough. I was looking yeah. for 30. They, that's why they were looking, that's why she was wanting a 30 because her, her, and, her, her and her husband title. do that kind of thing on the side. Okay. Know? I might have. You shot the 30 that they own? Mm -hmm. You saw it? How yeah. big it is? I like it, yeah. Is it so that's what right I was here? coming for initially, but then he was telling me about a smaller one yeah, just that I wanted to look at. Have a smaller the 30 caliber is big. Yeah. I don't know if it's too heavy for you to shoulder the gun, mm -hmm. but uh, it looks good on you. I yeah, got it. It looks awesome. Heavy. Yeah. Very nice, Johan. I shoot. Yeah, I mean, that, my shotguns and stuff. Yeah, are this will knock down a nice size iguana and it'll also take out uh, a, a hog. Good, yeah. good shot with it. You know? Yeah, it's all about shot placement. Yeah, it's all about that. Air guns, it's always shot placement. That's, right. You know, it's not a firearm, but they got plenty of power. So right, 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 right. right. On uh, in 30 caliber, there is a couple options. That's one of them. Okay. okay let me show you the other one. But yes, they're all kind of big and bulky. When you get okay. into big board, they're not small. So you're already familiar with the carnivore. So the, the other model that we got in 30 caliber is a new gauntlet too. 
The only thing that we are really more comfortable, like, and it's got a huge tank. Oh yeah. Right. Very nice, yo. It's a bolt action, but keep in keep in mind that one is side lever cocking. Okay. And this one is bolt action, like a like a sniper. Okay. Got it, okay. But it's a little bit lighter, and probably a little bit slimmer too. Maybe a little bit more comfortable. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Price-wise, they're almost like that. They're almost the same? Yeah, they're under 500. That's nice. So, that, this 30 caliber has hell of a power. Yeah. Probably more than that. Okay. A little bit more. And the accuracy on them? Uh, they're meant for 100 yard shots. So okay. If you can get something in the head 100 yards, it's down. But, yeah. I saw Gravy placing a good 100 yard shots. Yeah, did with you? That carnivore. Yeah, did I mean, you see that? Yeah, yeah, unbelievable shots. He's been, he's been hitting yeah, them with really that awesome. carnivore. I mean, just taking them out, they're done. Yeah. Yeah. This is your second option. Okay. okay. So this is a Gowling 2, which is available on 22 and 25 and on 30. Okay. So I'm going to have three calories. Oh, look at that one. Very nice, Johan. Look at this. Brand. Look at this thing. This is the same brand as the Carnival. Okay. It's a Hudson. And it's also side liver talking. Okay. It's got a huge magazine compared with the Hudson. This one carries a lot more rounds. Okay. And it's got a carbon fiber bottle instead of a steel okay. tank. Okay. And pretty much the weight on this one is towards the back. So okay. I can show that it won't him because the weight is here. It's, it's here. not there. Okay, but the only downside like of this gun is the price is like almost 40% more than that. Yes. Sorry, I don't know. And this one has open sights where you can mount any scope. That's the one you showed us the last time, right? The, yes. This one here? Yeah. Now, power wise, this gun has more power than that. Right. It does. The only downside with the Hercules, that's the name of this gun, is the, it's, it's loud. It's not quiet. Okay. It's loud. I mean loud. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, it's so pretty I want something loud. quieter. Yeah, if you, if you look for something quiet, the number one is the carnival. Okay. Okay, the one that Gravity has. That's the quietest one out of all. Okay. And the last one that I got, these are even bigger, those are 357s. Right. <laughs> but the last one that I got is in the glass right here. Okay. Which is an FX. Ooh, nice. This is the FX Bobcat. Very nice this is raffle, a Johan. Um, this gun belongs to a customer. Okay. It's in consignment. Okay. The customer sent it to FX to renew the whole gun. They took it apart completely, right. and they replaced every single gasket and seals and everything. So the gun is brand new from FX. Okay. okay? This gun is on the 950 bucks with a $300 scope on it. Okay. So 950 total scope on gun. Okay. This gun itself, I believe, just the gun, if I'm not wrong, oh, they like 1600, 1700, right. just for the gun. Just for the gun. Yeah, yeah, that's an FX. That's, an that's a 30 And this one's quiet? Yeah, they are pretty quiet. Can you put a, uh, can you put a Danielle on there? Uh, you can, but I don't think you need it. Yeah. They are can pretty quiet. I was asking if you could put a suppressor on it. He said oh. you can, but... This yeah. is like the carnivore. Yeah. It's kind of quiet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice rifle. Yeah. Which one will she choose, Johan? I don't mm. know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I yeah. like this one. I don't know. Okay, I need a couple minutes to decide. <laughs> so you see how that works. I mean, that, that's the, it's got that six, uh, six, shoot, six shot on it. Right. Um, I don't know what kind of scope you would need on. I know Robbie has one on, on his, but... Uh, I have the scope. I should have brought it in, yeah. the one that I had brought. But I'm pretty sure it will work for now. Yeah, it, it will, yeah. It the only thing you need is a proper mount. Is a what? Mount. A mount? You might have mounts on your scope. Uh -huh. Usually, if he, the scope was mounted in a firearm, right. it's going to be Picatinny, and this gun right. is not a Picatinny. It's just 11 millimeter. Do you sell the... I got the mounts. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you might yeah. need, you might so need just you. mounts, and then you can use your own scope, scope? on it. And as soon as you get somebody able to mount it and slide it in... Yeah, I can do that. Yes. Very... Yeah, she's pretty good. At... Yeah, I shoot regular. She, she uh, was on one of my videos. PCP. She took that, uh, that uh, Jet 2. Yeah. And one was running up a tree, and she got it, and went, boom! She knocked her out in running position. So. Sighting in this thing is like sighting a 22 normal. 22, yeah. It's the same okay. thing. It's exactly, it's identical. Yeah. I'll the mount it procedure. in the truck, and then when so, we're out there, I'll sight it in. So. Which one are you going to go with? Are you going to oh go with this gosh. one? Which one shall she choose, Johan? Um, 
She looked like a big girl with that one. Okay, here, I'm gonna give it a sec to you and I'm gonna go grab the other one just one more time. And she ain't even blonde, Joe. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. No, she ain't even blonde. Let's see how this goes. I like that one, Johan. You know, I kind of like that color. I really do. I, I, I don't know, maybe because it, it reminds me of a military color, you know, a tactic color. That's what, you know, that's what I like about that gun. As far as the quietness, you said they're comparable yeah, and the power is the same. You the said this one may be a little bit better? The, the carnivore is quiet as at all. Okay. okay. Power wise, that gun might be 5% power over the carnivore. Okay, so it's very minute. Yeah, it's almost similar. Very, very similar. I do like the color. The, the, I don't is, know. The difference between them, this is this might be important for you. I don't know what you're gonna use to pressurize this gun. If you're gonna use a diving a tank. tank. Uh -huh. Okay. I have a diving, a diving tank. tank. I need to get the adapter from you. Got it. So you're gonna use a diving tank? Yeah. Okay, that's not the gun for you. And this is the reason why. Okay. The carnivore has a maximum pressure level of 3,000 PSI. Okay. That's the maximum pressure you can put on the carnivore, 3,000. So the diving tank, if it's an aluminum tank, it's a 3,000 PSI tank. Okay. So with the aluminum tank, you can pressurize the carnivore to the max. Okay. Now, the gauntlet mm. uses mm. 4,500 PSI. Oh, so there is no PSI. diving tank that has that much pressure. So the problem with the, those guns is that if you don't have a compressor, you can pressure. Or you can do 3,000. Right, but, but by doing 3,000, you get only 70% of the capacity. So this technically has more power. This is more for a diving tank. Right, yeah, so it's more friendly. Yeah. Well, that made my choice easy. So we're going to go with this one. There you go. Um, yes, you picked it out, Johan. The adapter for the, the dive tank. The true iguana person. Mount for Very the true iguana person. And some ammo. She knows what she wants. Yep. Oh, yes, she does. Yeah, she's calling the shots. <laughs> Very nice. Just send it on home. Just send, send it home. It send it on home. Grasp it. Grasp it. Um, Hold it. Can you check if there is another for the one comes with a sling? Okay. Okay, Person. Manual, user's manual, mm -hmm. warranty, and uh, inside here we got an extra magazine. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> extra magazine. Okay, okay. People gotta get used to and this is your fuel probe. Yes, they okay. do. Okay? Yes, they do, That's Johan. That's the piece that you use to fill up the tank. You're gonna attach this. Yeah. You're gonna crank it, not okay. too much. Okay, finger tight? No, you're gonna use tool, but do not, not over crank it because this piece has a white bell ring inside. I see it. And if you crush it, it closes the, uh, the passage okay. and then it doesn't work. Okay. So you have to use, you know, tools, but do not over crank. Okay. Just enough to make sure it doesn't leak. If you feel that it leaks a little bit, you crank it just a little bit more until it stops. Okay? Okay. Maybe you should put some of that plumber's type on there too? No, it doesn't no? need it because it's got a bell ring in it. Oh, okay. So it seals against oh, okay. the bell ring. But if you over crank it, you kind of... Lock yeah. the... Yeah. That's yeah. some damn Chinese parts. What an amazing day, Johan. Yeah, it is a good day. And look at that I smile on her face. Look how happy she, she is. Got a new toy, huh? A, a new very toy. nice toy. Yeah. You know what? You, are you going to name your toy? What are you going to name him? Oh, I'm going to have to shoot it today, and then we'll decide at okay. the end of the day. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> what will it be, everybody? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've heard of wild names like Charlene, and but you got to you got to remember, she's a woman, so she's probably going to name it something like Thor, or Bob, or Bill, or Charlie, or whatever. <laughs> you know, <laughs> she'll name it something. I'm sure. You know. I would have named mine Charlene. Charlene Johan. Yeah, like That's a very name. nice I like name. I name Charlene. I used to go out with a girl named Charlene one time. Very From nice. From Clarksville, Tennessee. Mm. Maybe she's watching, Johan. I'm sure she is. <laughs> that big old grin on my face. Look at this. Come down and play with my gun. Are you familiar with these pieces? But no. Yeah. I think Show me right in You tell her, tell her anyway. This way, you know, she gets the full treatment. It's a big box, Johan. It's a very big box. It's a very big box. 
So if you guys want to come down here, guys, check this out. This is it. Right? Hit them up. Look down in the comments. Uh, put down in the comments below. You know, um, shout them out. He's good, good guy. He's got everything, as you can see. Look at all of this stuff. Got a lot of stuff here, guys. It's like an arsenal, Johan. It is. Johan going after one. We'll stand right here, Johan Adderley. Johan going to show you how he catches the iguana. The whole idea is when you're doing these, you kind of stay, you don't make any eye contact with them. See that big one right there? Oh yeah. Watch this. Get him, Johan. Look at this guy. He have a little grass. He doesn't know that. You, oh, oh. Get him, Johan. Put him in that bag. Control that string and be careful with, with yourself. Now hang on. I'm gonna just drop him. There you go. And she got him. Make sure he don't get you on your arms. Watch he don't bite you. You got him. Okay. I'm gonna hold him like that. I'm gonna bring him around like that. Okay. So Whew. it's very hot today, Johan. Yes it is. Okay, so now you go ahead and you bring that up. And we're going to see how this is going to go. Here, see, we're going to make sure that this is on. Oh, I see. see, this is why you got a, a guy that does that, see? Mm -hmm. And you bring it right like that so it, it don't... It kind of stays. Yeah, and then it kind of stays there. And you want to get up on your end. I'll hold this up, and you okay. choke up on that line. I mean, to go on a temp. So what you want to do is you want to pull that line up so it chokes down. See that? Okay. Got it? Yeah. Don't let it go. You don't want to get it on the floor, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to choke that up a little further, right to the area, because that makes it easier for you to, control to, to control it around its neck. Okay. So, you might not get it on the first try, but like I said, just listen carefully when I'm telling you. This way, okay. you'll have a general idea. All right. Move down. The whole idea is if you see them out there, uh -huh. you want to walk out here. Now look, come over here. You see all of them down yeah. there? Walk yeah, you want you want to make sure that you're close to this wall. You don't want to make any contact with them. Okay. You make contact with them, and it's and it's a problem. Yeah. It's a very nice one up here, Johan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay behind you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come right up close as you can but you're gonna stay as close as you can to that car okay you know what I'm gonna stay back here. you'll just listen to what I'm telling you to do all right hello don't worry we won't catch you oh you think come up thank you well as you know okay so, this guy here is going to try and run uh -huh. from you. Just pretend you don't see him. Okay. And walk close to that car right there. And if okay. you can get something around his neck, bring it around and pull it in. Left or right of the car? To the right to the right of that car. You okay. want to stay like this. You want to hug it. Not okay. look at him. And then come around and do this. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get him, Johan. She's a natural. She'll get it. Maybe. 
Okay, now you, use your pole, pole length. Okay, come from around the other side to your right. Walk up on that car, snug that car. Okay, now come around, grab him by his head. Let's see you get him, Johan. Did you get him? It's okay. It's okay. Pull it! Oh my goodness! Pull it! Good girl! Good girl! Nice! Nice job, nice Mindy! Job. Very nice! Nice job! How about a high five for that one? On the second try! On the second try! Good. There you go! Not praying hands! <laughs> there you go! Look at that! Look so, at you! As you can tell, guys, yeah. she's never ever caught one of these before in her life, right? No, not like that! So, not like that! <laughs> How did it feel? Look, he's all stretched out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm just lounging. Someone yeah. got me. Yeah. So, but you know, you can really, really hold on to these guys. And I kind of put them down a little bit. I don't know. Sleep. I don't sleep. Know, there's a pressure point right here. Poppies will make you sleep. Just pet it, Johan. Mm. Very nice shot. Mm. This is a female, because it don't have any glands there. And she'll be about ready to produce eggs right about now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. Where are you going, you silly little thing? Silly, what? silly, silly, silly iguana. Come here, you. We're going to have to give you some modern combustion. If y'all don't know what modern combustion is, that means that we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a pellet right here, and it's going to make some shampoo going on in here. Man, I'm sweating. Look it is at, hot, Johan. It's hot as hot as a cooter out here. Look at him. He, he knows he, she knows that she's captured, Johan. She, she, she just knows. It's a beautiful, beautiful specimen. There's not a blemish on it, and she'll be a perfect breeder, but not today. That's two for the iguana people, yeah. none for you. <laughs> Let's move on. A good day so far, Johan. Let's see if you can catch this guy. What a way to do it, everybody. One, two, three, in and out. You get him, or will he dive in that wall with we shall see. He's like, don't get me, please. Don't put me in that bag. I don't want to go to a sanctuary in the sky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Keep taking them on those trips, Johan. Just bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Go ahead, get them. And she makes the recovery, everybody. And she gets them. Wow, look at that monster right there. I know. Come on, juice me up, please. I'm going to catch that puppy right there. Get him. We got him. Ooh! Take him out, Johan. Just bring him home. Bring him home. Thanks. Thank you. Move along. <laughs> Let's move on, Johan. 